let's go ahead and take a look at our function. Um, now, if I wanted to just go ahead and graph these. That's a horrible marker. First of all, we have e to the x. Hopefully, you guys remember that's just the parent function. Looks something like that. Crosses at 0, comma 1. Has a horizontal asymptote. You know, y equals 0. Fairly basic. Um, remember, that's the inverse of the logarithm of function, which we did last class period. And then we have the absolute value of 3x. Remember, is the v-shaped graph. However, the slope is you know, 3. So instead of going over 1, up 1, we're going to go over 1, up 3. So it's going to be a very, it's a, um, the 3 is on the inside, so it's actually be horizontally being compressed. So the graph looks something like that. Now we look at our restrictions. We say e to the x is only true for x values greater than 0. So that is a whole greater than 0. Everything else is erased. And the 3 to the x is only true for x values that are less than 0. So by looking at this piecewise function, remember last class period we practiced graphing it, you should be looking at something like this. Um, now, so therefore, if, I, if I'm able to visualize the graph, I can determine what the left and right hand limit would be. The limit as we're approaching 0 from the left, from my left hand, you guys can see is approaching 0. From my right hand, you guys can see that we are approaching the number 1. And if we're looking for the general limit, that means we need to find the value that we're approaching from the left and the right. Well, since they're approaching different values, this does not exist. All right. Now, there's another way we could look at this algebraically. Um, if we wanted to evaluate the left-hand limit, look at these two functions. Let's pretend you forgot your calculator. You didn't have a calculator. And you have no idea what these look like. Okay. Now, let's look at these two functions. Do we know which function represents the left, left-hand function and which one represents the right-hand kind of function? Like, Since this is x is greater than 0, wouldn't you guys agree that like, that is showing me the right-hand motion of the graph? And this is the left-hand version of the graph. Would you guys agree? Yeah. So if I really just wanted to evaluate the limit and I didn't even want to touch my calculator or I didn't have a calculator, I could just apply direct substitution here. So if I just want to do the limit as x is approaching 0 from the left, if I just plug in 0 into that, oops, I'm sorry, from the left is just plug it into that function, right? Because that's 0 from the left. So 3 times 0 is 0. Absolute value of 0 is 0, which is the answer we had. And then if I wanted to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, I would plug it in from e to the 0. And hopefully, if you guys remember from logarithms, or really anything, actually, anything raised to the 0 power has to be 1. So therefore, algebraically, we can confirm our results that we found from the graph. Yes? OK. So you guys can see in your example, or you guys have one that's very similar. It's a little bit easier numbers. Um, 